crazy. Travel time. We got big things, big things happening. This is something I don't normally do. I don't normally take y'all on days like today, uh, but I'm gonna attempt to. I'm gonna attempt to take you along. As y'all know, I used to be deep within the outdoor business of industries. I did sales, I've done camera work, I've done a little TV time, I've done just about everything, and I still like to do that stuff. And we got manager Matt with us, which you guys have seen on this channel. He does a lot of the business stuff for the Googans uh, and myself, and he just helps. He helps us out in so many ways. He's an amazing man. Anyway, he needed a little company on this trip, and I'm just the man to go do it. So let's head on to the deep, swampy south of the Georgia. Actually, we're not going to the deep south, but we're just going to Georgia. We cannot forget OSG's chauffeur service. Yes, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard with Emmy as well as your co-pilot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she's gonna be a great co-pilot one day. And we're also accompanied by some friends. I have a stick here. This is actually one of the sticks that y'all made me. Uh, thought I'd take it, start taking it along for my run since it's lighter than my other stick. And uh, I got a fly rod in here for some reason. Don't really know. We're on our way to the airport, but I gotta do something first. Hopefully it's successful. I'll tell you about it in just a second. It's good news, folks. I went in for the, the drawing, first come, first serve, for the public hunting land. It's just for I dark. got in. There's only like 100 left. We got in, and I didn't have a renewed license. My license isn't even, even expired, but I had to have a renewed license. I did not get drawn for the deer, which is extremely disappointing. I did get drawn for hogs, ducks, and uh, anything else for general. So, big win. Now we got to get on a flight and head to Georgia. Amy, <laughs> you just stay put. <laughs> Stay put in there till daddy gets back, all right? We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, love you. It is never a dull day at the Chick-fil-A, anywhere you go, even in Atlanta, Georgia. Today is CKPK day. There's a bit of a line, but at least we know we're helping kids out. I was born in the state of Georgia. I sometimes don't let that out, because I'm so proud to be a Texan now. Just about on the Florida Georgia line, just like the songs, the songwriters, that's them. I miss the excitement of helping the children. They forgot to put some nuggets in our deal. I do need myself a napkin right now because I've gotten my, I've gotten yellow honey Dijon juice on my shorts. About to go to a meeting. This is what do you do right here? No, they didn't give us napkin. Well, here we are, back at the fish cave, back from our meetings. We got going down the road that night, and it turned into what some folks in the south might call an absolute gully washer. So I really wasn't able to film anything else past that point. I mean, I'm not gonna carry the camera into the meetings. And this trip that me and Matt went on, perfect example of just having connections, meeting people. I really wanted to go on this trip just to uh, meet some people on the other side of the industry that I haven't met yet. And um, you never know where that might go. In one of my latest videos, people were pumped about me seeing the deer and I've also just been seeing tons of hog activity and as you guys know from the beginning of this video, I got pulled for general. So I'm super excited and I need to go make some preparations. I need to get some things. And I already have some trail cameras. I'm taking them out of the treehouse yard and I'm gonna be placing them in some areas, even areas I can't hunt, just to try to get you guys to be able to see some of these giant deer uh, that I've been seeing and hog activity, it's crazy. Uh, I've really been going and I'm, I've been running as my scouting and I'm kind of going off paths and going into different areas that I, I know that the hogs and, and uh, the deer are living. So um, it's almost time. Hunting season is almost here and hog season is year round in Texas, y'all. So we're gonna go hang some of these up. We're gonna go get some other supplies and get ready for the hunting year. I was planning on going to Cinnamon Creek here, but uh, there seems to be a car there was a car that had gone over the bridge i wasn't sure if anyone was dead so i didn't film it it's not really something i want to put on the internet ladies and gentlemen we're back here in the bass cave we're going to be putting these trail cams out here very shortly uh, i'd love to know a good recommendation on a trail cam i picked these up very cheaply and i got them for like 40 bucks a piece so these are wild game innovations. I know they've got some that have Wi-Fi and crazy stuff like that. I may want to put one of those close to the house, but these I'm going rogue with. We're going to take them out here in just a little bit and plant those. So I got one of these Sniper Hog Light. I heard this, this guy that runs this company is a very nice 
uh, gentleman. I think his name is Rob. That's what the archery store told me. My buddy JT. This is what I used. A uh, video you guys never saw. This deal is pretty neat. What it does, you screw it into the front of your stabilizer, or you know, screw it in to your stabilizer. It becomes your stabilizer. Someone's calling me. Los Angeles. I better take this. Could be big. Yes, sir. I'm good. How are you doing? Wishing you were fishing. Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. All right. Well, that was actually an important phone call. It was a potential uh, sponsor. Always looking for more of those, especially in the outdoor industry. So that's really cool. Thank you guys for all the support on this channel and just, you know, the positive comments and everything like that. That sometimes helps when uh, there's sponsors and partners, you know, checking things out and they go and they see positive stuff. Helps me out. So I appreciate you guys uh, being so positive here on this channel. I get a lot of comments on that from other brands. Screw that in there and then it has a uh, light connects and then it has a trigger on it. It has two different settings. There's a low and a high. So when you're hunting, feel out the hog, see uh, reacting to the light and then it has a bright mode where you can just hit it and then trying to figure out a good thermal scope for a rifle but they're just so darn expensive uh this right here you can literally just put it in your pocket or in your sack so i could literally be in a field scan see uh see hogs in the corner and then go and then i'll probably end up mounting a, uh, a white light a bright light to my actual rifle and then i can do that and i got some hunts coming up so let me know in the comments if you want to see more about the gear and i'll do a more detailed video with it on my next adventures right now let's head out into the great outdoors itself and go set ourselves up. Some trail camps. I could literally be a spot right there. Just look at them. Little pigs, mama pigs, big pigs. Look at that heavy mud wallers right here. I mean, just tracks. I gotta put, I gotta put a camera up here. All right, camera one set up. Got number two set. Big time game trail right here. Tons of activity. The crazy thing is, I can smell them right here. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I literally can. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. It's got a uh, fish tail. It looks like a big catfish. Super hard skin. Looks like some big old rib cage bones. That. that is really hard. It's throwing me off. Like half of it looks like fish. I mean, I don't think that'd be gar. Is the skin? It's like catfish skin. I don't know if I've seen catfish with that thick of bones. The big bones sticking out to the side. Y'all, seriously, let me know what you think that is. That is crazy. That might be one of the funniest hats I found by the lake, just giving the circumstances. Lake hair don't care. The person obviously just gave up on the boat ride. He was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let it all fly. Wonder how many Coors lights were on that little deal. Found me another spot. I'm gonna set up a camera. A long ways away from where I was. There's a lot of activity going through in the bushes right here behind me. Throw down another camera over here. Let's see what we can get. This is a big time bedding area. All up in these roots, little ditches. That's a big one right there. All right, final one set up. Now it is time to hike back. I have returned. It's always good to get out there. Just enjoy the sweet sounds of nature. And a lot of sweat in this case. But not only did I put the cameras up, some good places I think. I also got some good recon tracks, and seeing how those. Um, those little pathways, you know, where the brush has been. Also, just from recent uh, rains, that's made it a lot easier. Uh, I ended up finding some wallows. I don't know how old they are, but wallows with tracks in them. Uh, the cameras are pretty spread out, and I've got one more I need to put up in a little oak thicket where I saw those deer. That's all we got for today, guys. You know what's next. We're gonna go check those trail cameras. Kind of a weird vlog today, running around in so many places, but I just wanted to take you guys with me show you what's going on in life. And pretty much from here on into September, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of traveling. I've got a couple of trips that aren't too far away that I'm gonna be doing some hunts and different fishing trips on. But if I get the call of, my water's broken, 
You gotta get over here, quick. Go. I gotta be ready. So that's why I'm not traveling out of state. Stay pretty close within, you know, a couple hours drive where I can get to the hospital. If need be, I don't want to miss the birth of my firstborn baby girl. And if y'all want to check out other stuff that's going on with that, uh, you can check out the Lake Life family channel. I'll have it linked down below. It's kind of OSG's point of view on Lake Life around here, but also just stuff we do around the house and family stuff. Don't forget to hit that ding dong notification button so you don't miss a single episode. And I will see you on the next one.